Welcome, Gemini's, to Tea Time Tarot. This is the Empress. I'm happy to have you guys here with me today. All right, so let's get the tea. We're going to get the tea. We're going to get the tea. <laughs> but before we get the tea right, I need for all of my newcomers to go ahead and click the bell to subscribe, okay? Go ahead and join the game so you won't miss out on no tea, all right? Because the tea is always piping hot, all right? So let's talk, guys. This is going to be a general reading. It may or may not resonate. All right, so take it, take what applies, and then leave what does not, okay? And for my cross watchers, you know we got the cross watchers. Y'all don't forget to subscribe too, all right? Subscribe to your girl, and let's get it. Let's talk. Oh, yeah, guys, um, if you would like to book a personal reading, that information is going to be in the Dropbox, as well as the website if you would like to order oils, okay? So let's talk. Let's talk, guys. Let's talk, Gemini. Let's see what we got. This is a love reading, okay? So let's see. Okay. We got some that just wanted to jump out. All right. All right. So some of you are thinking about the past. You're thinking about the past. Some of you are thinking about giving someone from your past another chance. Or some of you feel as if you should have gave someone in the past um, a real deal shot. That person could have been your soulmate. But I just feel like you're thinking about the past. Some of you want to heal something from the past as well. And you could have been thinking like, dang, that this person could have been the one, you know. Some of y'all are thinking about someone from the past, yeah. Um, but I feel like you feel as if your family needs you. Um, but you just feel unappreciated. Okay, the chemistry here, we got chemistry. Like, I feel like chemistry and unrequited here being next to each other. I feel like... You just kind of feel unappreciated in a situation. Okay. And you may be thinking you're reviewing, looking over the past. Because remind you guys that we are still in retrograde. So we're looking back over things, you know, just reviewing things, looking back at our past. You could be, you know, holding on to the past um, in a situation, you know. I, I see that you feel like you tried to make something work because we got this could be the one and make the effort here. We got love yourself first and let go of control issues. So you're trying to let go of the control part of a situation um, and putting yourself first or, you know, or people may feel like you're being controlling. Um. But I feel like there's something that you feel like you need to fix or heal. Because we got healing family issues and codependency. Somebody here is dependent upon you. Very codependent upon you. But I still feel like you feel unappreciated. Like you, you feel unappreciated in a sense. Okay, so let's see what we got for my Gemini's. It's like you don't appreciate me. This person from your past, I feel like you feel like this person didn't appreciate you when they had you. So now you're putting yourself first is what I'm getting. It's like now you're putting yourself first. Okay, Gemini. What message is there for my Gemini? Okay, what message is there for... Gemini's. This is going to be for November. Okay, so this is from now going into November. I think today is like the 26th of October. We're doing this going into November. Okay, so from now up into November. Um, we got the ice cream truck that's riding by. So if y'all hear that noise in the background, that's what it is. Okay. Gemini. Please give me a message for Gemini's. I'm just hearing that. You didn't want me back then. You didn't appreciate me back then. Now I'm putting myself first. 
Um, you may look at me in a different way. You may feel like I'm being controlling, but no, I'm taking control of my life. I'm taking back the power over my life. Um, and I, I'm just getting like someone's very codependent upon you, but they don't appreciate. They're not appreciative of what you did for them. Because I do feel like it's mainly you guys are thinking about something that either happened in the past or someone from your past. Okay, and that's what I'm getting. Ooh, that's loud. Maybe this person is loud. You see how that just, just interrupted our video? Maybe this person is always interrupting you. Okay, Gemini. Let's see. Yeah, see, Six of Swords. You're letting go of a situation. Like, you, you're moving on. Yeah, I feel like you work a lot. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, you definitely work a lot. Or someone is, this person always is, um, you know, you're helping this person financially. But I'm just getting like you're, you're done with something. Like you've moved on from something. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, you're hurt about the past. Like I said, this person did something to you already. So for a lot of you, this is you're reflecting back on your past. Or a lot of you are dealing with someone from your past. Someone from your past has resurfaced. And that happens a lot during retrograde season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, you're still holding on to some type of pain. You you haven't let go of something here. You feel burdened. And this this what, what you're holding on to is weighing you down, okay? It's weighing you down. Yeah. You've been putting up a fight. Woo, you've been putting up a fight. You've been putting up a fight. Fight. You're so defensive and, and you're ready. Like you, you, your energy is like, I'm ready. You've been holding back what you want to say. Why's the four of pentacles here? Yeah, the eight of pentacles. You've been trying to hold this back. You've been trying. For you've been trying to keep the peace. You've been holding this back. The three of swords. You are very hurt about something here. You're very in your feelings about something here. We got the high priestess and the judgment and the empress here at the bottom of the deck and the hermit, Virgo, Libra, Taurus energy. Maybe some of you are dealing with an older woman or a very wise woman, but you feel like I'm getting Pisces or Cancer with this high priestess. I'm getting that you may feel like this person knows how they made you feel. And that's why it hurts you so much. The high priestess, this person is very wise, especially with the high priestess and the hermit. Their energy is very, very wise. Like they know a lot. They have a lot of information. They know a lot. The judgment card, this is a wake up call. This is a final decision or a need to make some type of judgment. Um, you're very hurt by a situation. Yeah, see the hermit. Maybe you feel left out or alone or this is saddens you. I'm getting like a sad energy. You found out some truth. The five of swords and the ace of swords. You found out something and it pissed you off. Nine of swords and the temperance. You may smoke a lot. Some of y'all may. Now, I know everybody does not smoke. But when I see the Nine of Swords and the Temperance, this is kind of like ease my mind. You know, I'm trying to ease my mind. I'm trying to calm down because I'm really upset, okay? You saw something or you got some type of news and it made you feel abandoned, left out in the cold. We got the King of Wands here. Ugh, King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Why is the King of Wands here? Ugh, King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay. 
when I see the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands together, not only is this a very some you know a very passionate, very very passionate connection, but it's definitely like twin flame energy. Um, like you both are equally uh, equally feel the same way, have the same passion for each other. But someone here could definitely be married. I got the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. And everyone's not married, but this is someone who's... You may feel like, you know, this situation was supposed to be picture perfect. Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. This is a picture perfect energy. But you may have found out that someone was keeping secrets, okay? The Moon card. This is Pisces or Cancer's energy, okay? Two of Pentacles and the Empress, okay? This is two females or somebody's juggling here. Two people, okay? You found out, okay, the secret, okay? There's been some type of secret here that you found out and you're still hurting about it, okay? I'm getting like someone could be out of work with the death card and the three of pentacles. And there is no balance, okay? Um, you may be disappointed because there's no balance in the situation. When it comes to money, I'm seeing finances with the ten of pentacles and the two of pentacles here. This is a constant flow of money, okay? Yeah, I'm getting like don't have the time. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, you're possibly very tired, okay? The Four Swords is very, very like needing to, you know, a break. Um... I'm seeing like give give you some time to figure something out. But I'm getting like you weren't prepared or you weren't ready for something. I want the Queen of Pentacles here. Nine of Wands. You didn't want to. Hidden that something's supposed to be hidden. Like there's something hidden. I'm gonna come back to that. Because something about that is significant. Let's go forward, move forward to future energy with this two of swords. Okay. You aren't sure if you're happy in this relationship or this connection or partnership, okay? I don't know, with the two of swords, it's like you're stuck at a fork in the road. You're not sure where this is headed or you just aren't happy. You aren't happy. Yeah, like I see you having regrets okay the empress is the mother's energy a female a very feminine energy page of cups queen of the king of swords oh somebody is very very harsh in their communication like you come off as very um <laughs> very harsh truth i'm gonna say the harsh truth Okay, but it's just like I see you, you're having some type of regrets or you don't want to regret something, okay, by telling your truth or how you feel. So you may decide to not say anything, to keep quiet, because I see you just watching. I see you just watching.
you're very, very, yeah. You you got you got offended about something that hurt your feelings. You're I still feel like you're in defense mode. You're in defense mode. Um, your feelings are hurt about something from this from the past. Something that happened or something that was done or said. So you are in your feelings. You got you got upset about a situation. You haven't let that situation go yet. How this other person views you or view the situation, they may want to talk about it when you guys are alone or get home. Because I got the Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands. I feel like there's a lot going on, like a lot of back and forth going on. And then we got the Four of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. So that is like, you know, stability and home life. So maybe I'm getting like... You're coming off as really, uh, you're coming off as really, um, you're coming off as really aggressive. <laughs> Knight of Swords and the Page of Cups, like, you mean what you say, you said what you meant, and that's what it is. And I feel like I'm getting, I'm even getting, like, this is the cold truth. And then you feel like this person doesn't allow you to speak your truth. Like, you feel like you can't say anything in a situation. So this may happen like out in public or I'm getting like Yeah. You fear that things are going to get out of hand. Like you you fear that this a tower moment is going to occur um and it's going to be like when you leave, okay? Some of you are even contemplating like completely walking out of this this person's life. Um this is very disturbing to you. Like, there's something about this person that's very disturbing to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting, like, also wait until someone leaves and then someone goes and run and tell, you know. I'm getting, like, not telling the truth with the Four of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Five of Swords, this is causing a lot of conflict. Okay, and confusion with the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of confusion. Why's the Page of Wands? I feel like you're finally going to decide to speak out and say something, even though, like, I feel like you're going to think about it. You're thinking, you're going to think about it first. Think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it or how you're going to present it. But you are going to speak up. You're going to speak up about how you feel about the situation. Yes, I keep getting that moon card. The moon card keeps coming out. Yeah, like, maybe you want to talk about it in private. The lover's card, which is you guys' energy. Okay, yeah, see, we got the lovers and the five of pentacles. You, I feel like you just don't feel the love from the situation. Like, you don't feel the love here. You don't feel the love here. It's like... You don't feel the love here. But see, yeah, I feel like you're genuinely wanting to have a sit down and think about, think of ways to resolve the issue. Um, but I just feel like there's a lot that has to happen before you get to the point of that sit down. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to be said. Um, People aren't going to like what's being said or how it's being said. It's more so of what the issue is because I saw a lot of aggression. Like, I saw lots of aggression, like, in that reading. It was, like, a lot, a lot of aggression. Like, people being forceful and speaking their opinions. But 
doing it in a very aggressive manner. And I feel like eventually you're going to have a sit down and, you know, want to talk about this, about your issues that you're having from the past. Because I feel like there's something, some things that you're holding on to that you haven't let go of that needs to be talked about, that needs to be brought to the table. But the thing of it is, is you have to make sure that your approach is the correct approach, okay? Let's see what advice we have for my Geminis. Ooh, okay, <laughs> those just pop right out. The great gathering. See, it's all coming together. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like there is going to be some type of sit down, a gathering of all parties involved. Like, everybody just talk about their opinion. But you're going to have to be grounded, okay? You're going to have to be grounded. There's going to have to be new ideas, okay? New ways of doing things. Yeah, the universe is behind you. Go ahead and take that, that leap of faith to do that. And don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in, okay? So don't dim your light. Don't dim anybody's light, you know? Don't dim anybody's opinions of, of how they feel, how they view things. I feel like there needs to be a sit down and everybody can express how they feel. Because I feel like there's a lot of people involved and a lot of opinions. So I feel like everybody needs to have their own mic and speak from their own perspectives, okay? All right, so if this message was helpful for you guys, make sure to click that bell to subscribe, hit the like button, and I will chat with y'all later, okay? Ciao.